Good morning, guys. Good morning. Welcome back to Dreaming with Drifters. Happy Wednesday. On a hump day like today, you can see we're out here in the open space. Good clean air. Yeah. It's a nice day today. It's starting to warm up just a little bit, but it's a little bit on the brisk side right now. I just wish it would just be spring already. Spring is sprung. <laughs> well, I need the weather to warm up just a little bit. You want summer. I want summer. Mm -hmm. I will not summer, but spring. Yeah. I'm a spring baby. I love spring. Well, this that's is the perfect weather this to is, me. This is <laughs> that's uh, spring in Arkansas as you know it. Yeah. Cold in the mornings, warmer in the afternoons. Like Florida. Kinda. <laughs> Today, guys, we are going to be giving you something a little bit different. This is what I was talking to you about yesterday. Yesterday, we went to make an attempt to work on the road, and the battery was dead for the tractor. So I tried several attempts to do a couple different things to get the tractor rolling, but to no avail, it didn't happen. So I got the battery and took it up to Uncle David's and put it on the charger, and um. This morning, we're going to hit this road. We are going to hit the road. But by hitting the road, I mean we're going to be scraping the road. Uncle David is going to be needing the box blade, and he's going to be putting the box blade on the back of Uber. And Uber is going to be leaving the mountain, in a, I think, next week. So the, to get everything done, we're going to go ahead and get everything going. We're going to scrape the road with Uber. I mean, uh, we're going to scrape the road over here with Lyft today. And then I'm going to take Lyft on up to Uncle David's and drop it off where he will then take off the box blade and put it on Uber. Some things are about to happen. Yep. The things are always happening. First things first, I need to go ahead and move the truck out of the way. The tractor will be coming down the road. And so we're going to move it. Lissa, my queen, you will hold the camera for me and assist me today. And we'll do our best to show you guys what's happening. <laughs> Move it out the way. Hit the road, Jack. Yeah. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. <laughs> Great, now I'm going to have that stuck in my head all day. <laughs> He's just going to pull up right there. All right. Oh no, Jack came back. I'm ready to get to work though. Mm. Oof. Man. I gotta get that oil leak fixed. Look at this. Dang, look at this. This is where my, my truck was parked. Look at that oil. Holy smokes. We did go ahead and take per, uh, proactive measures. Oh, yep. I need to grab that, I guess. And got the seal for the, uh, for where it is leaking down there on the truck. And hopefully we've worked it out you're gonna you're gonna ride yeah hopefully we're gonna work it out here you got a hand Ooh. hopefully we can work it out where we can get our friend gary aka gumby from junk the gems homestead over here hopefully uh, maybe friday or saturday and i can confidently work on the truck a little bit and uh that's just another thing to do here we go camera view yeah <laughs> I'll turn around in just a second thanks for pulling me I know you guys didn't want to walk. 
you wanted to ride to. <laughs> The road is looking better though. Yeah, it's drying up. Only because we haven't had rain in a week and a half. Watch your head. Duck. Duck. And when we get up here, I want you to see what is uh, parked up here in front of the water tote. And Lissa, you better tell the truth and let them know when it was finished. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So, to prove me wrong, he finished it Monday night. But I think he only did that just to prove me wrong. What? Come on. <laughs> I did it. Here you are. Oh, thanks. I did it actually because I made them a promise. <laughs> I promised. I promised you guys. That it would be done before I went to sleep Monday night. And it was. After the live with Uncle David. We'd come on homesteading. I came back down here and told Serenity what I was going to do. And she was like, I want to help. <laughs> so we went back there and got it taken care of. Check it out. The Nacto Skylark. It's pretty nice. It was like most of the e-bikes. Um, Pre-assembled for the most part. This is actually a folding e-bike. It folds up right here. Handlebars come down. Stuff like that. It's uh, it's really nice. It's the perfect little e-bike uh, for Serenity to learn how to really control and get going a little bit. Thankfully, I actually have a sponsorship coming up soon. Hopefully, it'll get here soon. Um, we all have a helmet <laughs> Yay! specifically for the e-bikes and, uh, and that'll be pretty cool so that we can all ride around as a family. It's going to be a little bit warmer. We can head on over to Blue Mountain Lake, our favorite little spot, and uh, it'll be a good time. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's get this battery installed and lift so we can get some work done. We're actually standing in our carport area. Yep. Here's a, here's a little news for you guys. When we start our rainwater catchment system, it will be here. Yep. Right over where our carport will be. It'll be a nice lean-to right off the side. Come out, I don't know, however many feet, several feet. Um, and then we'll have a gutter system, which will go into a big giant bucket, collect some rainwater, filter it up and be good to go. <laughs> All right, let me grab a tool real quick. We got interested in rainwater catchment when we were actually looking to buy land in Arizona. Yep. Yeah, we, um, because remember, Arkansas and living here uh, near Uncle David and being in YouTube was not part of the not part of our journey we actually sold our home in florida and our our uh, bigger home we had a 2000 square foot triple wide mobile home um on three quarters of an acre in town and we sold all that and bought our camper and moved out <laughs> into the country by the river in florida 
But before we purchased that property, we did go search in Arizona because we were being pulled to the west. Mm -hmm. Still kind of pulled towards Arizona. Yep. We still we still do want to have some property out in Arizona. And uh, but everything happens for a reason. Yep. Right now, we're loving life in Arkansas. That's all right. Let me just make sure this is the ground again. Fingers crossed, dreamers, that this is going to crank up. <laughs> well, the only reason it didn't yesterday was because it was dead. And we knew it was dead. We just figured that the jump box would be able to start it. I didn't know it was dead dead. So this is the battery that Uncle David got for the tractor. He says this is the right battery for the tractor. So if anybody out there in the comment section sees that this may not be the right battery for the tractor, I did not buy the battery. It is not my tractor. <laughs> I did feel that it was a little close to the lid. Uncle David gave me this right here. He said it should be good to go. It's not my battery and it's not my tractor. And if he likes it, I love it. <laughs> here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let me put this down. I'll be right back. All right, what's the Mr. Miyagi? I've already checked the oil and the diesel. It's ready to go. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, glow plug, fire up. warm-up time not too much but a little bit of warm-up time you walk more that way want to walk over here still a little loud look, look how the green look how bright the green is on the hills as contrast to the mountain where everything is still kind of brown no so it's so beautiful It's like a painting that changes all the time. Yeah, every day the mountain looks different. We uh, cooked up a little bit of steak last night. Yep. I cleaned the grill up a little bit. Ooh. Got it rolling. It's the first time I've grilled this year, I believe, right? Yes. I was ready. We had a little fire. Listen, and I sat out here. Maybe adult beverage or two sitting by the fire. That's actually the reason why we didn't get to catch any of our friends' lives uh, the rest of Tuesday night. Um, we took a little bit of family time. We came out and hung out, and it was really nice. Yeah. But I think that's enough time for Lyft to be warmed up. I'm going to go ahead and try to get her rolling. Wish me luck. <laughs>
she's not ready yet. No, she's not ready yet. And that's just the nature of lift. Uncle David and I found that out the very first time when we went to three Mississippi where the tractor got picked up and they had fired it up and it was back and forth for a second and it really kept wanting to go in reverse, not forwards. Uh, but after a while, she'll warm up and get ready to move. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and throw you on a quick pause. We'll be right back. best idea is to start and pull I may I think it may be a better idea to go all the way to the front and then back into it and pull out a little bit at a time that way I don't get a tractor stuck I don't make even bigger ruts I think I'm gonna do that you want to sit back here yes here I will what I'm gonna do is lower this down and you guys can sit right here and ride with us on the way down Drop it down and pull some mud out. And this is what we're gonna do for a minute. This is exclusive only, only on Dreaming with Drifters. None of this footage will be going to Drifting Dreamers 5 unless it's for a review video later. Get ready guys, you're in for it.
Has anybody ever had a mud bath before? I hear it's pretty good for your body. I could be a millionaire if I sold mud baths, huh? <laughs> Here he comes. Guys, we have ordered some driveway fabric, I think it's what it's called. We're going to try laying that down and then bringing some more rock in and um, all that stuff. White Rock said that they have actually used it and it works very well for their driveway. So we're going to go ahead and give that a try. So I got a goal. I'm not gonna be able to pull all the moisture out of here. It's just there. It's soaked down. And unless I go three, four feet down, and that's just not feasible. So what I'm gonna try to do is just scrape off the top layer as best I can. I'm gonna work on this back here for a minute. And I try to scrape up some of it up this way and then pull it through. Next step is just gonna be putting uh, some shale on it to try to dry it off. We're gonna get some of that uh, 
that fabric, the road fabric put on there. I was telling them yep. that. And then some more shale and some more rock. Here it comes, guys. Let's get ready. there's any fix for this at this point I think it might be so muddy and so mucky that I might have to dig a trench and let the water go out that way yeah that's what I was thinking too and that's unfortunate Oof, man I think I'm kind of just making it worse yeah I um, I was making some good progress at first I thought uh, backing in a little bit at a time a little bit at a time I don't know it just once you get back into the middle, it's just scraping so much. You're dropping so deep. I don't know if this will be able to fix until, like, the rain is done, done. Might have to bite the bullet and, uh, man, I don't know. I think uh, at this point I'm going to have to just trench it out and somehow trench it out. Uh, I don't know. We're going to put our brains together. Alyssa, you and I are going to put our brains together. Yeah. Hmm. Can you see the wheels smoking up here? <laughs> the light bulbs flashing. Man. Spin us around. Yeah, guys. I think I'm just making more of a mess than anything. Like I said before, I think I was doing good at the beginning. Um, and maybe if I was to back in here a little bit of time and pull it forward, but there's nowhere to take it. Because once I pull it all up out of here, I'm just pulling it out of here and then what? And then I'm ending up right over here into this mucky of a mess. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing all right on this side. Maybe I'm, this side looks like it's doing a little bit better. It's just, look, look at the middle right here. Look how, how much water is right here. It's just holding all that is holding water. As you can see, when I try to back into it, Yeah, as soon as I as soon as I pull it out, I'm messing it up even more. Hmm. I don't know, my queen. I guess um one one thing is the quarter ward road laying the laying the trees across it and stuff. You know. You might have to do that at least in these low spots right here. Yeah. I mean, just like it, where it dips here and there. There's so much water up there. But yeah. That might be, for now, a great idea, but it's just yeah. now. You know what I mean? Woo! And if anything, <laughs> we're just, right? The log should just, 
pressing it down. I mean, it's gonna, we're gonna, ha so we'll watch some more videos on it. I did watch a couple of videos. I know a lot of, a lot of you dreamers out there sent us some links about the corduroy road and laying the logs across the road. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll talk to Uncle David, not about the road, because I already know his opinion about the corduroy road. He, he don't really like the, that opinion. Um, just because afterwards, you know, the rot afterwards, you know, what's it going to be? What's the base going to be? But at this point, I think to be able to get to our house, you know, we're going to have to be bringing in building supplies. And if it goes down, we'll just later have to build it up again right here. I mean, we need rock and stuff over there, and there is 0% chance any truck can get back there with rock. Yeah, I know right now. Hmm. So, we so might the, need to do that corduroy thing. Like I said, at least in these low spots. All right. I know a lot of you dreamers out there are definitely fancy for the corduroy road. I think it uh, might have put some pressure on us to where we have no choice but to do that. It's just too bad. And we do need to dig some trenches. Yeah, but we can't dig any trenches until either one uber gets back from the shop which won't be for a minimum a minimum of three weeks i would say probably closer to a month um and there is no other way to dig a trench without renting equipment Oops. let me <coughs> spin you guys right here so i can readjust so i don't know maybe we'll look into that maybe we'll look into see about renting equipment for a day or so and see what we can do what do you guys think let me know in the comments. We're going to go ahead and hop off of here. Got some big plans over today for Drifting Dreamers 5. We're going to be putting together uh, Lissa's new red e-bike. Mm -hmm. Although the mud is making it difficult to ride the e-bikes through the driveway. <laughs> yeah. uh, and we still have to go and pick up more material for our dog run. I want to get more cement. Um, more, yeah, more bags of cement because we have plenty of posts that we're going to get to digging and digging and dropping and digging and dropping. And we're going to get tired of posting, mixing concrete. We'll be done now. We're loving it. We're living our dream. We do appreciate it. We, uh, I know this may seem like a lot of aggravation and a lot of work. It's okay, guys. Do, <laughs> do, do you regret it, Lisa? Do you, no, do you regret don't. it? No, it's just figuring it out and getting through it. Yeah. And coming up with a, a plan. You know, that's all it is. Yes, it's aggravating to deal with, but, you know, it's just part of it. Just part I told of it, myself guys. a long time ago when we sold our house, we were moving out to Arizona. And when I decided that I was willing to move my whole family into a camper, that I was willing to sacrifice anything to get to what I know our family deserves. Yeah. So, you got to make sacrifices sometimes. And there will be challenges. Oh, there yeah. will be. So, you know, you have to learn how to take the steps to get over those challenges. That's the, get, that's the biggest deal, right? That's, that's the biggest thing. All the obstacles, all that, none of it matters. Nothing matters like that. Anything that happens doesn't really matter. What matters is how you respond and how you deal with what is occurring. Right. That is what matters. And what choices you're making Right. And that, and that's, to, yeah. And that's part of, know? that's part of dealing with it, I think, mm -hmm. is, you know, what choices you're going to be, be making to deal with that. Yeah. So keep that in mind. If you guys are having a rough day, a rough patch, or if you seem like you're having a rough life, remember that none of that really matters. And that is a really hard mindset hump to get over. It's really hard to get over that hump on a hump day like today. Get over that hump, guys. <laughs> remember that it doesn't really matter. What matters is how you respond, the choices you make, and how do you deal with it. Right. That's what really matters. And how you take steps to change it, change the situation. You know, that's part of drifting sometimes. Yep. We love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you so much for helping us follow our dreams and for supporting us. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are not already subscribed to Dreaming with Drifters. This is a new vlog channel for us, and we are already climbing 5,300 subs and climbing. Thank you so much. Yeah. On the way to 10. Let's take it to 10. <laughs> Thank you all so much.
Keep on following your dreams. We're going to keep on following ours. Remember, if you can dream it. You can dress it. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Mm. 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 <laughs> we could sell it all and for mud bath make a fortune. Let's take Let's old. Collect it. Just collect it all. Oh, and... hot mic. We're still on. Hot mic. Let's take the tractor <laughs> back to uh, uh, Uncle David.